Right, going to start it up, here we go. Now going on. See the amperage going up. 's winding up a bit see it's just climbing now and that's the glow plug heating up so we'll wait till it stabilizes so for anybody that wants to know what current it uses, on startup and on shutdown this is the amperage that it's actually drawing out your battery so it's a little bit more than I suspected because I only suspected it'd be about 12 amps oh it is oh it's not bad right we've stabilized now so I'm gonna look at the control panel now it should start before too long you'll see that the inlet and outlet is flashing that's checking the flow you can see the symbol for the glow plug the red symbol which is there is on you've got the pump just starting that's just started that's the symbol down there so the pump has started now we'll have a quick look and see what it's drawing now here we go amperage the pumps on, everything else is going. We're drawing about 11 point, 11.8. Say 12 is what you're looking at. So ignition has already started now. So we're fired up. Let's see how long it keeps the uh, the glow plug alight for. We're showing. Two minutes in at the moment the glow plug still on as you can see and the the priming pump is uh, is away like going away like a good one chucking the fuel through the fan is increasing on the diesel heater you'll notice that there's no bars up yet down here so it'll take a while for the heat to get up but we'll keep monitoring it and see how things are going the glow plug will go off soon, that's the red symbol just under the zero here. So once the glow plug goes off, then the amperage will drop away and we'll see how much it, uh, it uses running at full speed. Now there we go, we've got the first green bar up down here, can you see? So that's showing that the combustion started. The glow plug is still on, the fan speed is building. The glow plug has now gone off. You can see the symbol has gone. So the red symbol has now gone. So the glow plug has shut off. And we're now on a running current of 3.3, 3.4 amps. 3.5, there we go. So that's no glow plug on. This is the fan and the unit on full. So the fan is going very fast, flat out in fact and we're pulling oh here we go it's still climbing a little bit 4.1 amps now obviously when this reaches the set temperature that you've set on the controller then obviously the fan will back off and your amperage will reduce dramatically so here we go it's pulling more than i thought it would and things are heating up quite nicely now. So 4.5 amps there. There's the controller, we're in four minutes now. And you'll notice on the heat bars there, we've got four bars up now. So we've got the two blues and the two yellows and the reds will be coming up shortly, I would think. Five minutes in now. Five minutes in and we're pulling five amps how about that that's with no glow plug on this is just with the fan 
running full speed. This is a 5 kilowatt Chinese compact diesel heater and we're pulling 5 amps. So if for those of you that are running on battery this will give you a good indication of what the power requirements are when this is running flat out. But of course it uses far less when the temperature is reduced is reached and it then reduces in speed quite considerably and so does the fuel consumption of course as well and that's where the economy of this unit really comes in. Right, we're now on six minutes and you'll notice that all the bars are up now. So we've got six heat bars there. So it's now running at full speed. Glow plug of course is off. The temperature is quite high and my leg's getting burnt so I'm going to move it away and we're on roughly about, uh, if you say 5 amps you're not going to go wrong, it's easier to work out that way because this is measuring it in real time so it is wandering a little bit. So there's your answer. The unit is now backing off. So we've reached the set temperature and the pump is now slowing down. And because the slump the pump is slowing down and also the motor on the fan is slowing down, so is the current consumption, which is shown on the bottom there. So we're down to one and a half amps now, that's not bad is it? There we go. What an amazing piece of kit. Right, so after it's reached full temperature, then it drops down to a slow speed. You can now see that we're really running now below an amp. But uh, that's it, we've slowed down quite considerably now. So you can say now that um, you're only running at, a, well, below an amp. So that's not bad at all, is it? So that gives you all an indication. When it's actually on tick over, you're not pulling much current at all. Five amps, say with the fan on, full speed obviously with the glow plug on you're talking about 12 and when it's on tick over look at this look it's dropped right down we're pulling about half an amp now now while it's on like this this uh, a battery is going to last a long time but don't forget when you go through shutdown you still need 12 amps the glow plug will come on the fan will go up to full speed and the amperage will go up. For demonstration purposes, I've now turned the unit off. So you can see that the amperage is now going up. The glow plug has come on. fan has sped up a bit. So now we're pulling nine and a half amps. It's going up to past ten now. So as you can see you need to allow enough amperage in the battery for shutdown as well. It's important. And the reason that you need that, we're up to full amperage now, is because the unit has got to cool down. If you don't allow it to cool down, we've lost the bar already, if you don't allow it to cool down, you are going to have a failure. Something's going to pack up. So you need to go through this shutdown period. And while it's shutting down, the amperage will be drawn because the idea is that the combustion is going to be fully finished. There we go, we've dropped down to just one amp now. So the glow plug now has dropped off, has gone off. 
as you can see on the display the glow plug has gone off and all that happens now is the fan is going quite fast and the idea is that that will cool the unit down until these two bars disappear here, the yellow ones once those two go then the motor will cut out and it will just cool down normally so now we're only pulling about uh, about one and a half amps one 1.2 to one and a half amps but you still need that power on shutdown I hope that answers a few questions for you and if you look on my site you'll see other wonderful information on this great heater including a little fuel gauge which is nice and simple catch you later